This is some good stuff. So I have a challenge for you guys and for myself as well. If we can make the footage look cinematic, cinematic. in 60 seconds. We are going to do this inside DaVinci Resolve Studio without any plugin, without any details, just using DaVinci Resolve Studio because that is my choice of weapon when it comes to color grading, of course. So hit that clock. Here we are inside DaVinci Resolve Studio 20. And here I have a footage of me running down the street. This was shot on a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K in 4K B-Roll. So let's start. I'm gonna create a few notes. Um, let's say five, yeah. But what I'm gonna do is drop a color space transform here and uh, input Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, Blackmagic design for the film for the gamma and for the output color space transform I'm going to choose DaVinci White Gamut and DaVinci White Gamut Intermediate because this project of mine is in DaVinci White Gamut Intermediate Timeline Color Space and for the output it is on Vex 709 Gamma 2.4 uh, because it's a wider and bigger color space I'll be grading inside uh, DaVinci White Gamut Intermediate this is our IDT. This is our input transform, and I'm gonna drop another CST over here. Color space transform, and call this our output display transform. In this, I'm gonna uh, take what I added here, the output color space. I'm gonna put DaVinci White Gamut here, DaVinci Intermediate. And for output color space, I'm gonna choose Rec 709 and gamma 2.4 so right now it's in uh, rec 709 gamma 2.4 but well, this is what my display is calibrated to and um, okay what next i'm gonna create another csc add another color space transform for this rec 709 gamma 2.4 rec 709 again but for the output gamma transform i'm gonna select cineon film log I'm gonna select my film looks codec 2383 lot from here and drop it on my uh, node over here. Select these two, create a compound node, and let's name it PFE. Now we can control the intensity of it. If it's too much, we can dial it back a little. Yeah, right here. Okay. That's good. Let's crunch our highlights a little. Okay. Good. Now we can see the clouds a little better. Um, let's take out some yellow from it i'm using my uh printer lights on my keyboard and that is controlling the offset wheel over here i'm using my keyboard for the hot keys you can enable it from here go to printer light hotkeys check this mark anywhere here you have a list of uh all the printer lights that i'm using for me right now this looks uh yeah that looks mm, for the given time i think it looks good and this is not how i usually collaborate my professional project i use a lot of plugins i use a lot of dctls when it comes to color grading, most people think that we have to make it look good. It's not only about making it look good, of course we have to make it look good. But the most important thing about color grading is you have to give it a look and feel that serves the narrative, the story, not just making it look good. So that was it for today. 
I hope you've learned something from this. So if you've enjoyed this video and you would like to see some more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video.